But the Chinese culture is very much reflected in its beautiful language, so that is, I suppose, the highlight for me, which is so nuanced and so ancient. I haven't unfortunately had time to finish any of the books I've started, but I've been trying, for instance, to read The Tale of the Red Mansions, and as I go forward, I keep meeting these lovely idioms, like um, Shui Zhao, Qi Zhao, Shen Ti Hao, and so on, many of which, of course, we also have equivalents of in the Irish language and the English language. Also, the fact that every region has its own cuisine, its own customs, so everywhere you go, you get new tastes, new practices, which is a, a tremendous uh, education indeed. Well, 2018 was a really good year for Sino-Irish relations. We also had our first direct flights between Hong Kong and Beijing and Dublin. Uh, two direct flights in the one year. Uh, with the flights now, we have 90,000 Chinese people visiting the island of Ireland. Each year, we hope that increases to 175,000 over the next four or five years.